Hey everyone, I'm Burke White here at Leland, and I'm going to teach you how to convert a loop flywheel. Left to right, right to left. This is the loop Opti, this is the loop Evotech G4, and this is the loop Multi. I'm going to show you how to do it with the Opti, but the good news is, whether you have any of these reels, the drag change process is the same. Before we get started on any reel, what I recommend is crank down the drag to make sure you don't even have to change. Some people get confused, think they have right, left, and so on. You just want to make sure that your drag is oriented a certain way. Right now this is left hand wind because it's smooth going this way and there's some resistance going the other way. So check yours first before you go through this process. Let me show you how it's done. Before I get started, I always lay out a towel or a cloth of some sort. You really only need two tools. One is a small Allen wrench, which actually comes with a loop reel, and the other is just a flat blade screwdriver. The first step is to remove the spool from the frame, and there is a knob, a screw cap, in the center of the spool. Lefty loosey, just unscrew that. Once it's unscrewed, you can set that aside, and you can easily pull the spool off the frame of the reel. Now what you're looking at is the drag assembly in the middle. To get at that, we have to remove the drag knob from the back side of the frame. Luckily, I have my small Allen wrench here. I can get in and unscrew. The drag knob literally comes right off. Place that on your white towel so you don't lose it. On the back side of the frame, you can see there's a little insert for your flat blade screwdriver. Go ahead and unscrew that. It won't come out, but what it's going to do is release the drag cassette. This will come off on the back side, set that aside, and the whole drag cassette comes out in one handy little unit. I'm also holding the drawbar that went through the center of that. I'm going to set that aside. Now if you look inside here, you'll see a whole bunch of sealed bearings, and most importantly, you'll see a blue O-ring. And that's what keeps your awesome Power Matrix drag fully sealed from salt or fresh water. Very lightly, with the business end of your flat blade screwdriver, you can work that seal upward until it pops right out. Set that aside. Your goal next is to take the cassette and knock all the working parts out. And that's usually done with a few taps. We really only have a few working parts here. We have a sealed bearing on the inside of the cassette, and this is its counterpart. We have two metal washers, and we have two carbon washers. In the middle is your unidirectional needle bearing and that's the clutch of the mechanism. It smoothly rolls one way, catches, and that's when your drag comes into play. So all we have to do is flip it from one side to the other. When you're ready to put it back together, all you have to do is stack in this order. It goes washer, then it goes carbon washer, clutch, carbon washer, metal washer, and then your sealed bearing race again. All right, so let's put this back together. The first thing I'll tell you is each one of these metal washers, including the bearing clutch, has three little nubs on the outer ring. And internally, in the cassette, you have ridges. So as I'm dropping these back in, all you have to do is align the ridges and it'll fall in neatly. Next goes a carbon washer, followed by our inverted clutch mechanism. And that's going to change the retrieve for this. Remember, there's three little knobs on this one as well, so you want to align them accordingly so they fall correctly. So now that I have it aligned, we can put the bearing clutch in place, followed by a carbon washer, and followed by the stainless steel washer. I then put my sealed bearing race on top and make sure that fits in. And one final step is to take our O-ring and make sure it fits in nice and tight. That's going to ensure that our seal drag system is exactly that, fully sealed. We've done most of the work already, now we just need to reassemble the reel. You can take your drag cassette and place it back into the frame of the reel, and it'll seat nicely. The next step is to take your stainless steel drawbar and insert that in the middle of the reel. And if you spin it, what will happen next is the threaded piece will stick out the back side, taking your drag adjustment. You can start to thread it. And with our flat blade screwdriver, tighten it up. And it's now time to mount the spool back to the frame. You'll notice 
on the inside there's a small tongue of metal and that has to integrate correctly with a groove in the drag cassette and if you kind of visually line that up the spool then hops in place on the frame take your spool knob or your cap screw that in with your flat blade screwdriver it's now time to set the proper amount of drag what I like to do is back off the drag setting as lightly as possible checking it and on this reel which is the uh, the runner it's a good six maybe seven weight reel so I'm trying to envision hmm, the lightest set setting of drag that I would probably ever use that's good we're on the home stretch this is the drag knob and there's really only one thing you have to remember here is since our setting for our drag is at its lightest setting we want to make sure that this drag knob is backed all the way to the left where it would act at the lightest adjustment on the drag I then take my Allen wrench I'm reattaching the drag knob so we've officially uh, switched the retrieve on the loop Opti runner which by the way is the same process on the loop EvoTech G4 that's the one with the L on the back as well as the loop multi-fly reel. Same process. Now if you're a handy person, feel free to do it at home. If you're not, we'd be happy to do it for you. It's real simple. If you bought your loop fly reel from us, just send it in and we'll change the retrieve for free. If you bought your loop reel from some other dealer, hey, we still got your back. You can contact us. We'd be happy to convert the reels drag for you. We charge $95 an hour for this. But as you saw, something like this really doesn't take very long. So you're probably looking at only $30, $40 at the most. That's really it. So if you have any questions, give us a call. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the water.